Are you going to give your green light for the EU-Canada free trade deal? I clearly said we have to follow the benchmarks that were set by my parliament, and I told that to the European Commission one year ago. It turns out that the Parliament of Wallonia has the same powers as all the other national parliaments in the EU. If we don't sign it, we don't ratify the treaty. It will never come to fruition. I always said I supported a treaty with Canada, a well-developed treaty, but we expect guarantees on social and environmental standards, human rights, consumer protection. So therefore, I am still waiting to see which text the Commission will come up with. Is that a clear no? Are you ready to negotiate further? I already said it's not a point blank no, it's not a veto. I told the Commission what our remaining difficulties were last Monday. The Commission put forward an additional text. We checked it. I submitted that text to the Parliament of Polonia. I told my Parliament what the breakthroughs were. I wanted to welcome them as well as the constructive work achieved. But I did add which shortfalls still remain in terms of protecting our agriculture, in terms of arbitration rules or techniques. I also wanted to make sure that only truly Canada-based companies with real business activities in Canada could use the treaty, so it avoids becoming a Trojan horse for multinationals from other countries. Are you ready to reopen negotiations with Canada? The best would be to reopen negotiations with Canada. I think that Wallonia is not the only one struggling with this agreement. Exemptions start popping up and unravelling the treaty. The wisest solution would be to reopen everything. The minimum would be to be given legally binding guarantees. I don't want to be stuck on a deadline. I think that having a closed schedule or an ultimatum won't make negotiations any easier. I believe that if negotiations are to succeed, partners should not be pressurised in taking a closed deadline which would lead to a no. We should rather keep the game wide open. The timing now depends upon the proposals that will be made. If we quickly receive very constructive proposals, things can move quickly. If not, it will take more time. You're almost like a small village of Gauls holding out against the pressure of the EU and Canada. I don't feel isolated at all. I've had numerous contacts with my counterparts from other countries which show that our concerns are widely shared. One always has to be the first to come out into the open and make the others happy. It's a traditional game of diplomacy. But I know that the views I defend are shared by other European countries and are widely shared by European civil society.